Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel and all new viewers, what should you do when you want to try out macro photography? You have several options. Maybe your current lens is macro enough. Use the shortest focusing distance and then crop the image to make your subject appear larger. The second and most expensive option is to get a dedicated macro lens. Another very popular option is to use macro extension tubes. You put these between your normal lens and the camera and the lens becomes a macro lens. Then there are some really temporary solutions like turning your lens the other way around in front of the camera. Obviously you won't be able to screw the lens on this way, but holding it against the camera's lens mount in the wrong direction will make it much more macro. But there's yet another option that a lot of people don't know about. It's using a close-up filter, aka close-up lens sometimes also called a macro filter. It's like adding a pair of reading glasses in front of your lens. It's a cheap option and your exposure is not affected as it is when you use extension tubes. The optical power of them is given in the units of diopters, just like your glasses. This correlates with the magnification you get out of your close-up filter, but it is not the same as magnification. I purchased a close-up filter with plus four diopters from Hoya. It has a filter size of 58 millimeters. And what do I see? I see much closer. It's such a small thing to carry around in the camera bag and putting it on does not involve taking off the lens. I love it. Some close-up filters introduce aberrations, but mine is very fine in that regard. It is best to use close-up filters with a zoom lens and the longer the focal length, the more effect you get. You can calculate the magnification, shortest focusing distance and field of view, but I'm going to spare you from math and just show you some practical examples I got with my Fujifilm X-T30 and Fujinon XF18 to 55mm lens at the two extreme focal length to give you an idea. I photographed the tape measure as close as possible. What better way to show magnification, right? This is the closest I got to the tape measure at 18 millimeters. Without the macro filter, I covered 28 centimeters in width and the lens is 17 centimeters from the tape measure. The camera sensor is about 26 centimeters from the tape measure. With the macro filter, I cover 16 centimeters and the lens is 10.5 centimeters from the tape measure. The camera sensor is about 20 centimeters away. Overall, the magnification is about 1.75 times, 28 divided by 16. Here's the same at 55 millimeters. Without the macro filter, I cover 14 centimeters in width and the lens is 26 centimeters from the tape measure. The camera sensor is about 37.5 centimeters from tape measure. With the macro filter, I cover 7 centimeters in width and the lens is 13 centimeters from the tape measure. The camera sensor is about 25 centimeters from the tape measure. Overall, the magnification is about two times, or 14 divided by seven. This is a summary table of my little experiment to make it easier for you to follow. The actual numbers will vary with lens, but you can see the trends. Even without the macro filter, the 55 millimeter focal length will let you make the subject appear larger in the picture even though you can't get as close to it as at the 18 mm focal length. But with the macro filter, two things are happening. First, the macro filter provides magnification, and secondly, it lets you get closer to the subject. Relatively speaking, both effects are greater at longer focal length. So for best magnification with a macro filter, zoom in as much as you can and get as close to the subject as possible easy to remember because this is also common sense. I like what I'm seeing with my Hoya macro filter and I was surprised by the quality of this little lens edition. It can really do the job. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and putting a like under the video if you liked it. I appreciate your time and attention. See you soon. Goodbye.